Hey guys, this is Scott from Front Row Podcast. Welcome to another edition of Rewatching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Today I'm going to be talking about Season 1, Episode 18, Prevalence. Alright guys, so those who are new to the series, I'm just going to be giving you a plot summary for the episode, followed by my thoughts, some foreshadowing I noticed in this, as long as some Easter eggs I might have noticed in this episode. Alright guys, so let's just start with the IMDb, but not IMDb, the Wikipedia plot summary for this episode, Episode 18 of Season 1. And that says, Ward frees Reyna and introduces Garrett to her as the clairvoyant. Though disappointed that he's not actually clairvoyant, she agrees to try and replicate the house guest drug. Uh, Colonel Glenn Talbot sends a military team to the hub, so Coulson leaves with the team and Triplet, ordering Skye to erase all their identities, including Ward's. Uh, Coulson discovers a message with coordinates in the Canadian wilderness where they discover the hidden shield-based prevalence run by Agent Eric Koenig. Uh, I don't know if I said that right. Anyways, Coulson learns from Koenig that Fury is alive but is told to keep the information secret. He also learns from May that Fury did not oversee the Tahiti project, which is a mystery. Uh, Ward and Garrett infiltrate the, the fridge, freeing its prisoners and stealing its weapon, including the Berserker staff, the, 80, the 084 from Peru, and the Gravitonium. Uh, Reyna informs Garrett that the hard drive containing all of Sky and Simmons' research is locked and only Sky can access it prompting Garrett to send Ward to Prevalence to get that information. So that's the summary for this episode, guys. You can see a bunch has happened now that Hydra is out in the open, but the team still doesn't know about Ward's, Ward's you know, Hydra and betrayal of them. And he doesn't, they don't know about Garrett being the, the clairvoyant yet, and I totally forgot that they didn't really learn about that yet. And I think that's really interesting about this episode and the next couple episodes. Is that we kind of we kind of get to, well I think it's just the next episode where you know comes to light that Ward has betrayed them but I think it's really interesting that we went through this episode a couple times Sky calling Ward and still thinking that he's still part of the team and him still having to pretend to be part of the team we're starting to get to see both sides of Agent Ward uh, what's his name I forgot isn't the actor's name Brent something uh, his we get to see his acting skills from going from both sides of like this dark Hydra guy to you know, being a member of the team that we were kind of introduced to him as for the first, you know, 15 episodes before we saw this turn, or 16 episodes before we saw the turn last episode. Uh, but some of the cool things I noticed in this episode is I, I like that Reyna's back. I love Reyna's character. She's great. I always like the, what she adds to the different scenes. Her dialogue is always great. It's always well written for her character. And I think she always adds a really cool element to any episode she appears in. Um, I like that she was, you know, broken out by Ward and Garrett. Uh, and the fact that she's a little surprised about the clairvoyant, I think, is... Not that surprising. I mean, we we're all, I think, a little like, oh, like, like it makes sense, but at the same time, you're just kind of like, I think we're all hoping for a little more super villainy type of thing. But he does go a little more super villainy because that's another thing I noticed in this episode that Garrett's got some some cybernetics himself, a little bit of the Deathlock stuff going on himself, which made me remember that there was a fight scene at some point with him, like almost completely like cyborged out, right? I believe I don't remember exactly. Don't tell me that, guys. I do want to discover that over the next couple episodes, uh, what exactly that uh, storyline is. Uh, but some of the other cool things is that we see at the beginning, we see that um, S.H.I.E.L.D. secrets are out after the Winter Soldier slash Hydra events. I like that tie. I always like these ties to the MCU movies. This one's showing some of the flashes of the Triskelion doing news reports on the fact that Winter Soldier happened and now they're dealing with the after effects and that's what I especially love about this show from this point going forward is that they're dealing with a lot more of the after effects of the MCU events and how they're kind of the ones who have to kind of clean up the smaller things like oh we have to go find the Hydra teams and stuff like that so I find that pretty interesting I like that tie I love that we were introduced to Colonel Talbot I love that guy I've liked him since Heroes I always forget to look up the actor's name but he's great and I love that we get introduced to him so early on and the fact that he stays with us throughout the whole show pretty much. I didn't realize it was season one we were introduced to him, but it's season one, right near the end of season one we're being introduced to Talbot and we see him rise through the ranks and eventually become a big bad guy at the very end of this show. Spoiler alert for those of you who haven't got to the end, sorry. 
But yeah, it's cool to see his character introduced, even though it's just a little flash on his screen so far. I believe it's the next episode, the episode after that, that we get to see him leading a team, a little more interacting with the team themselves. Um, but that, I really like that that was introduced. What else do I have written down? The team doesn't, still doesn't know about Ward. I like that element, I already mentioned that. Uh, Garrett and Ward raid the fridge. Which I think is a cool little thing for them to get those little th the extra little tools and then they know that the um, sandbox, not the sandbox, what's it called? Whatever the program was where they were supposed to shoot the thing into the sun didn't actually happen. They kept a lot of those things like the Asgardian staff and the uh, object from Peru and the Gravitonium. I really like that they're all still kicking around and that they kind of now I have to kind of deal with those problems again a little bit, but I like how I know that they kind of interact throughout the season, the series a little bit more, which is pretty cool. Uh, what else do I have written down? Coulson gets coordinates from his badge from Fury. I like that we know that Fury's alive in this and that he kind of starts to keep it secret from his team. It's also mentioned by um, Pat, Oswald, uh, Pat Oswald's character uh, that only himself uh, Maria Hill and Cap all know that know the secret that Fury's still alive, which I think is pretty cool that the that Coulson is in this kind of close knit group, even though Cap still thinks that Coulson's dead, and it's kind of just interesting like that. I like that little little tidbit they put in there. Um, but what else did I write down? The world needs us. We are agents of Shield. I love that little speech that Coulson gives at one point to the team. He's just like, "Come on, guys, we're not agents of nothing. We're agents of Shield." And that's such an inspiring thing. So I love that even in the face of Hydra, you know, taking over Shield and the world kind of deeming Shield as a terrorist organization. That's one thing they say in this episode. They deem Shield a terrorist organization. Coulson still believes in the values and the principles that that Shield was based on, originally based on before it was corrupted by this Hydra infiltration. I really like that he gives that speech, and everyone's still just like, but, but. But we're not, we're in the middle of the freaking winter, the middle of the Canadian wilderness, man, freezing our butts off. And then, you know, he throws his badge, the gun shows up, and he ends up being right. And I just love that. I love that we've hit this new kind of base. I like Patton Oswald's character. He's great. What else do I have written down, though? The complication with the hard drive. We heard about that during the episode summary. Uh, I kind of like that kind of complication they throw in there. I had forgotten. I, um, last episode that Ward had ended up with the hard drive that thank you for uh, the comment to, that pointed that out uh, that I missed that uh, I like that it was kind of brought back and it gives a reason for the team to have to uh, or Ward to have to interact with the team again and still pretending that he's part of them even though we all know as the audience that he isn't anymore and then that's about to turn at some point during this next episode or two uh, so I really like that little element what else do I have written down um, where it shows up at the base and oh Garrett busted out Ian Quinn and gave him the Gravitonium I forget where that storyline goes completely do not remind me guys that's another one of those ones I would like to discover as I'm watching these um, but yeah that's pretty much all I have written down for my notes for this episode bunch happened guys but be sure to let me know in the comments below if there's anything I didn't miss that you guys liked about this episode in particular or anything you maybe didn't like I'm always down to hear what you guys have to say thanks for joining me today guys be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thanks for joining me again have a good one